Hello, it's Kit Alowitz with another Leadership Journey video segment. Today I'd like to introduce Amanda Parkhurst. She's going to be talking about what is really a preeminent customer experience. We are trying really hard to dovetail and weave our initiative around having a predictable, reliable customer experience every time for our customers to the elements and principles taught in the leadership journey. So without further ado, here's Amanda. Take it away. Why, yes. I'd love to spend the next 10 minutes of my life being told what a horrible person I am by a stranger. I'll definitely transfer you to my supervisor who will give you the same information I just gave you. As soon as you started yelling, I zoned out. I'm not sorry I placed you on hold for five minutes. I was hoping you'd hang up. Oh, you're never going to use our company again? Great. That means I'll never have to talk to you again. I'm going to tell you the issue is resolved so that I can go on break. I'm telling you that I'm finishing up with another customer, but really I'm just catching up on office gossip. I asked you to repeat that because I was too busy texting on my phone. I'm going to hang up on you and pretend it was an accident. I'm attempting to sound empathetic because quality assurance is listening. The only perk of my job is not seeing your face. Please stop telling me this pointless story. Just tell me your problem so we can both get on with our day. I'm saying this with confidence, but I have no idea if this information is true. I Hey everybody, my name is Amanda Parkhurst and I'm an HR business partner and I'm also a member of the PCX team, the preeminent customer experience team. And we've spent a lot of time over the last uh, month uh, figuring out what is a preeminent customer experience. I think we can all define what it's not um, from the previous video that I shared. Uh, just to give you some funny um, anecdotes about what customer service is not. Um, we've probably all, if we're honest with ourselves, thought those things uh, potentially when we are on the phone with a customer or even um, maybe experience this in real life when we've talked to um, somebody when we are the customer, maybe we got that feeling from that customer. Um, what a preeminent customer experience is to me, um, preeminent means above and beyond, surpassing all the rest. Um, so when I think about preeminent customer experience, it's from beginning to end. Every customer interaction, every interaction I have with that person has to just blow me away. Um, and how often does that happen? Um, it's very selfless. Um, we have to put um, the customer's needs above our wants and needs, um, making sure we are empathetic with their needs. Um, one story that I, you know, in reading a lot about customer experience, one story that stuck with me um, when researching the Disney customer experience was, you know, they want to make sure the customer is happy all the way through from their first interaction and maybe making their reservation or buying their tickets or even thinking about coming to Disney all the way until when that person is getting their credit card bill. Um, Cause we all know how much Disney costs, it's expensive and they, you know, aim to, they want that customer to have a smile on their face, even when they're paying that, you know, extravagant, extraordinary credit card bill. Um, and I think that's one that stuck with me that even when the customer gets the invoice from Endress and Hauser, they still have that feeling inside of, oh my gosh, Endress and Hauser took care of me. They are the best and I will continue um, to go to them and they continue to make me happy and excited to work with them. So that is my definition of a preeminent customer experience and hopefully we can all uh, aim higher and do better and give that to our customers. Thank you.